All right, DC, here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that through hard work, all the results will show, and they have for Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure he put on Dos Anjos to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now, and in those fights, why he's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly, he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. Colby Covington maintained status as one of the best welterweights in the world. He is absolutely one of the best welterweights in the world. And a lot of times, people mistake the talk and the persona for Colby not being able to be a fighter. Colby Covington is a fantastic fighter, and he will get in your face from the moment the official, or the moment the referee says fight, and the pace, and the cardio, and the work rate that he will push on his opponents is enough to break guys. Guys that are traditionally known as phenomenal cardio fighters like Rafael Dos Anjos melt under Colby Covington. He is a great fighter and a very, very hard worker. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Colby Chaos Covington! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Are right, you ready? Let's go. All right, so here we go with round one, Grappler versus Grappler. This was probably the wrong week for me to skip combat Sambo class, but what are your expectations for this one? I expect these guys to come together, man. I expect them to come together, and we're going to see some fantastic throws. And oh! Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Anik. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Usman. Covington's got the full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Back mount now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Covington's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Get on now. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape from it. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. So the numbers continuing to pile up here. 33 total strikes and counting have now landed for Colby Covington. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, pretty good handiwork on the feet there from Kirby Covington. Doesn't get enough credit for the striking, but it's certainly on point tonight, Chair. Ooh. Both guys landing with conviction now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, there's the double One leg takedown. takedown. Is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. The ground and pound has been there all night. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 10 seconds to go in round one. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent time, is time, not time. controlling his boxing. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, round two now, folks. Colby Covington. Okay, ready? Round two. And that yeah. man, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Oh, no! Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. the takedown, no problem. I mean, this guy is really... Oh, and he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chief. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Covington. Usman's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, 
that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice right hand. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Wow. Wow. He got it. <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Ready for the official decision, Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by nine.